This is going to be an orbital overlap diagram for CH2, CH2. And your diagram should include the type of each atomic orbital, sp, d, sp2, etc. And whether the overlap forms a sigma or pi orbital, uh, or I think the proper word would be bond there. My apologies for that typo. Please upload your work as a PDF. Okay, so first thing we start with is Lewis structure. And anytime you have more than one carbon, join the carbons together. And then this formula is trying to tell us that there are two hydrogens bonded to this carbon and two hydrogens bonded to this carbon. So let's do that. And we haven't even counted up our valence electrons yet. So we have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We have 12 valence electrons in here and uh, in the molecule. And we so far, I've done a very sloppy job of this, I apologize. We have two, four, six, eight, ten. So we have two more electrons to give. If you were to put them on this carbon, you would then re realize that the other carbon does not have an octet. So eventually, those last two electrons end up being a double bond. Okay, now um, we're going to do our second orbital overlap diagram. And for this one, uh, hmm, well, I'll do the best I can. So if I look at this carbon and I look around it, there are one, two, three electron groups. And for three electron groups, the electron geometry is trigonal planar. And um, we could also say the bond angle is 120 degrees. And the hybridization is sp2. And the hybridization is really what we need for this, although it's nice to have the bond angle as well. So now what I'm going to do, just like the last time, is I'm going to draw a, uh, each of my carbons. And again, I will try and color code them. Try to anyway. And each of these carbons has three sp2 hybridized bonds. This is hopefully going to be a little better picture, but we'll see. One, two, three. And I'll label these sp2, sp2, sp2. For the other carbon, That carbon also has three sp2 hybridized orbitals. The carbon, or sorry, the hydrogen, remember, has a 1s. Let me zoom in on this one a little bit. There. So. Uh, and the last thing I can do, well, I haven't drawn the pi bond yet, but for each of these bonds, there are two shared electrons, one of which the hydrogen brings. And one of which the carbon brings. Like so. I think you can see that. And, oh, then there's this bond, too, which has two electrons. And what I've just drawn for you, by the way, are all of the sigma bonds. So, sigma, sigma, sigma. Oh, that's another sigma. Sigma and sigma.
I have not drawn the pi bond yet, but I will in just a minute. Give myself a little elbow room here to draw it. So the pi bond is going to be above and below. And I'm just going to draw that in a different color. And now I'm going to draw it like this. So, ah, they're so close. They're not that close. But here's 2PY again, 2PY. They do actually overlap. And there's your pi bond. And now I'll zoom in again. It's kind of messy, isn't it? I did my best. 